disturbance. Oh no, it looks like Bonnie's guitar is out of tune and must be recalibrated. First, we must access his harmonization mod. No, I'm gonna give you it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat the dang slice of pizza. Eat it. I'm trying to give it to Chica. It's not working. Eat it. I'm scared. I'm scared. Delicious. See you next time. Can you eat the- You are the worst. I hate you all. Back to parts and service. Foxy has been out of commission for quite some time. This series of simple repairs should return him to full working condition. <laughs> Look First, away in your mask. carefully pick up and place Foxy's head back to parts and service. It looks like one of our guests left a personal item on our star attraction. Let's return it to the lost and found. Carefully grab and remove the child's hat from Freddy's mouth. We do, you however, up. ask that you agree to. Got him. Back to parts and service. There have been customer complaints about Chica's acrid smell. Sounds like Chica that? has been rummaging around the kitchen okay, again. Okay, sure. Remove all food particles from Chica's there, exterior and place it in the refuse bin sure. on your right. Welcome back to parts and service. It seems that, on multiple oh. occasions now, you have disappeared from the authorized boundaries of the Fazbear virtual experience. We would ask that you not do it again. And you know, I gotta keep getting this, these, ugh, these lower. Um, alright then. He's getting way too close, but I still have loads more tapes to get. For example... Bro, back up. Every service elevator, but the comfort of the main elevator is well above your pay grade. 26 out of 30. Coins and for tapes. 14. I'm only missing two. <gasps> I don't like you. Alright, I gotta listen to these tapes. Before I put these in, I just wanna say I did use Darko's video to find the coins that I can get. And I also watched a video, to find all the tapes, I watched a video made by Classified Plague, both of which will be linked down below. Anyways, let's listen to these tapes. There was something that looked like a Halloween mask laying on the floor. I didn't understand. Ink must have spilled. Maybe. It was only then that I heard a shuffle from the testing room and realized Jeremy must be there. I went back and peered in the window. I couldn't see his face. He had the visor covering his head. He had ink spilled on himself as well. The front of his shirt looked black in the dark room. He turned his head in my direction, but I don't think he knew I was there. Alright, Jeremy was working on something. I was told I had three days to finish Jeremy's work, but I know it's just passing the time. They don't really expect me to do anything. It's just to keep up appearances until the buyout is complete. We have to look like we have things under control. There's another potential development studio that wants to pick up from here. But who knows what kind of lies they're being fed to convince them to do it. Against my better judgment, I'm going to do my best to see what's here, make notes of it, and try to isolate where this thing is hiding. At least then, the next person that tests this will have a chance of getting rid of it. He is that thing. 
I'm pretty sure he's that thing. I don't know if this, the company that this girl is working for, is the company that made all the mistakes and stuff that Hanya was talking about, or if they're going to pass it on to that company. I'm not entirely sure yet. Today was my last day of beta testing, and the anomaly that I've been seeing is nowhere to be found. But after inspecting some of the files, it seems that it's attached itself to these logs. Wow. Oh. Mine logs. He's here. That can't be an accident. So now I have to make a choice. Do I leave these logs here for you to find? Or do I try to purge this thing myself by destroying the logs? I've chosen the latter. There was no subtitle for, um, for that last line. I don't know if that was a glitch or something. I can't delete them. By creating a protected area to store these logs apart from the game, I effectively gave this thing a safe place to hide itself. It's in here now. I may not be able to delete it, but I might be able to do something else now that it's attached itself. I have an idea. Oh boy, what's your idea? Oh, of course, tape 13 is the idea. They lied to us. They lied to all of us. They told us that the whole point of this VR game was to undo the bad PR done by a rogue indie game developer who supposedly made up a bunch of crazy stories that tarnished the brand. But that's not true at all. In their haste to develop this VR game and clear their name, they sent us some things I don't think they intended us to see, such as a hard drive containing emails between Fazbear Entertainment and a certain indie developer. Fazbear Entertainment hired the game developer. Those indie games were designed to conceal and make light of what happened. This isn't just an attempt to rebrand. It's an elaborate cover-up. A campaign to discredit everything. Alright, so... Scott, Cawthon himself, is canon inside the FNAF universe. Fazbear Entertainment... I don't know why I was going to put that on. Fazbear Entertainment hired Scott to create these dramatic stories to tell throughout the games to try and cover up the incidents that happened all around the locations. That is unbelievable. I ran a fragmentation program on the area of memory that was storing these logs for you. I effectively broke the files into pieces and broke the anomaly along with it. That means that you won't have my warnings to guide you. Awesome. But hopefully, it also means that this anomaly, this virus, or whatever it is, will remain broken and unable to do more damage. And that is all the tapes that I have gathered. <coughs> that is, um... That is still... What? Hello? What? What? Why is Helpy here? Is this part of the game? Or is this just an easter egg? This is part of the game. What do I do with you? Ah, no, that's not what I wanted. Oh, alright, he's here, and Helpy is gone. I'm guessing that was an easter egg? Maybe? Yeah, that must have been an easter egg. That's awesome! <laughs> You know, we see him in these pictures, but to actually see him in the game, that's, uh, that's another thing. Hold on. Ew. You look nasty. That's a no-no for me. Now, at the time of recording this, Darko has tweeted out that he's going to make a Help Wanted Theory video tomorrow. Again, at the time of me recording this. So, I'm also planning on doing one. I'm going to try not to watch it. Um, 
and see what I can come up with just as a, you know, <laughs> just kind of telling you guys here because this, for you guys, I'm recording this in the past, but yeah, just thought I'd tell you because this is very, very interesting. The fact that Scott is confirmed to be, to exist in the universe of FNAF is just crazy. It's blown the whole lore and timeline wide open. It's, it's incredible, really. We haven't really had something this big happen since, like, FNAF 4's Bite of 87, the FNAF 4 box. Because that's when it really started to, uh, get crazy, if you know what I mean. Remnant was added, you know, two purple guys were added, and all that weird stuff. But this, this is something different, and something so, so fascinating. That Scott, in the universe of FNAF, created these games to cover up the Missing Children's Incident, the Bite of 83, the Bite of 87, all those other murders were just... The, they were used for ideas for a video game franchise to cover up Fazbear's Entertain, Fazbear Entertainment's misfortunate events. Like, that is just... That's something. That is... That is really something. I hate that. Wait, whoa, whoa, wait, wait, what? Why was that all glitchy? Who? Um. <gasps> what? I don't know who that is.
Where did Freddy go? Um, my, my best pal Freddy. I'm just gonna let that slide. Come back for more, I see. Well, I'll tell you this, red boy. Hello. You're about to face the wrath. I am. I'm a mutant ninja turtle. Teenage one. You were not in the vent. You were not in that vent. That that seems strange. The facts in this game have kind of gotten a little bit strange. Like it's trying to cover up something. Also, yeah, Mango was not in that vent, which is uh, oh, quite stupid. Hey, good job, night five. Um, hey, uh, keep a close eye on things tonight, okay? Uh, from what I understand, the building is on lockdown. Uh, no one is allowed in or out, you know. Especially concerning any previous employees. Um, when we get it all sorted out, we may move you to the day shift. Uh, this is just the case. Real, available. Uh, we don't have a replacement for your shift yet, but we're working on it. Uh, we're gonna try to contact the original restaurant owner. Uh, I think the name of the place was... Red Bear's Family Diner or something like that. It's been closed for years, so I doubt we'll be able to track anybody down. Uh, we'll just get through one more night. Uh, hang in there. Good night. <laughs> <coughs>
Two. That was 5 minutes of Freddy's 2 being on Nightmare Mode, and if you're wondering why I was so quiet during that, it's because, I don't know if you could hear, but the little boys were being yelled at as I actually, um, as I beat the night, so I didn't want to be too loud and disturb them, because that was fun to listen to. Plus, it wasn't really that hard of a level anyways, I think the, the winning attempt was like my second or third one, so it really really wasn't all that bad. Alright, now all we have left to do is FNAF 1 and FNAF 3. I've tried FNAF 1 so, so many times, and I've gotten killed by that weird black shadow Freddy, so that's got me, um, kind of mad at that, just because I don't know what he do. I don't know what he do. I don't know what he does, and that's kind of, uh, making me slightly mad. So I'm gonna save that one for the final, um, Final one, and we're gonna jump into FNAF 3, and oh my god, it's gonna be set on fire. Alright, I gotta get the move here. Nope. Ah! Bruh. I gotta see what this man has got. No, 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 no! Ah! Oh, no, I was rebooting it. That the spring Bonnie animatronic has been noticeably moved. That's pretty. Alright, give him that, Ben. Face of pretty fat face. Come on, man. Where were you? Oh my god, it's gonna be so difficult. I've also noticed that when you die, these things are starting to glitch out even more. Nothing was ever proven in a court of law. Those tips are also getting, um, pretty, uh, pretty wacky. So, I don't know, uh, I don't really know what's happening there. Hello? Hello? Um, this is just a reminder of company policy. Come on, man. Hi. From where? Alright, I gotta try my best to locate this guy, cause I don't I don't understand him really. He spawns there? I don't know where that jump scare came from. Bro, he's not listening to me. Hello. Oh my god, are you kidding? 
Oh right, and he can just kill you randomly. Because, because that's how game work. And I did scroll through it previously, but we are getting loads and loads of items for the prize counter. We have all of the specials, a basketball, a cockroach, uh, plastic cup, the fan, a weird piece of paper, Freddy's mask, an eight ball, a giant healthy. Uh, we got some plushies, including plush baby, scrap, uh, plush scrap baby, Freddy, Toy Bonnie, um, Puppet, Regular Bonnie, Regular Foxy. We have two action figures, Regular Bonnie and Nightmare Fredbear. We have all of the food. Um, we almost have all the toys, we're missing one. And we also have all of the bobbleheads. So we're nearly done with the entire prize counter. And we're actually nearly done with this entire game. Like I said, all we have left to do is FNAF 1 and 2, I mean FNAF 1 and FNAF 3 on hard mode, nightmare mode. But honestly, I hate these two mini games. FNAF 1's Shadow Freddy can kill you out of nowhere and he drains your power by so much. And with FNAF 3 nightmare mode, Springtrap, he can literally teleport to your office when he is on the other side of the map, so I... <laughs> You guys know how much I hate teleportation in video games. So thank everyone so much for watching you. If you have any tips for FNAF 1 and FNAF 3 on Nightmare Mode, please leave them in the comment section down below. And hopefully I'm going to be able to beat it in the next episode. But yeah, thank everyone so much for watching. And I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.